So, I know it's been kind of quiet here for the last two weeks, but I am happy to announce that today I have finally finished creating a fully Guilty Gear style anime shaded character that you, the community, can download absolutely free. This is a very tricky art style, and it's really hard to study because there aren't a lot of free quality examples out there online to reverse engineer. So, the squad and I really wanted to make sure that this type of resource was available if you needed it. Every technique that I've shown you in the last 30 videos has been applied to this character. Square UV maps, hand-painted artificial outlines, with the separate ambient occlusion map for detail, and manually adjusted normals using the proxy method that I learned from Yuli and Ruki. In addition to all the anime shader stuff, this character is completely weight painted, with all the controllers and drivers that Blendo had from the last giveaway. So it has 17 shape keys which guaranteed the elbows, hips, wrists, and shoulders are all weight painted beautifully no matter how you pose it. And everything adjusts itself with drivers so the shape keys will automatically activate and deactivate when you start to pose the rig. But I also made a few improvements to the rig that Blendo didn't have. Like last time, this character is 100% motion capture compatible with Rokuko. But unlike last time, the rig is also compatible with the humanoid Unity rig, which means that any animation from your humanoid Unity characters can be slapped right onto this character as well. So it's a game ready character, rigged and ready to go. And speaking of game ready, a few of you programmers out there left me some messages during our Unity series saying that it would be really helpful just to have a character with all the basic animations needed to quickly start prototyping a game. So I've spent the last four days making all the most important animations that you would probably need if you wanted to quickly prototype a basic shooting game. You can find a frame data catalog to see the full list of which animations happen on what frame. Frame 0 is the classic default T-pose. Frames 10, 20, and 30 are just demo poses to give you ideas. Frames 100 to 200 is the idle animation that would run when the character is supposed to be standing still. Between frames 250 and 273 is everything you would need for a vertical animation tree, so aiming down negative 90, negative 45, 0, 45, and 90 degrees. Frames 275 to 298 are torso twist animations, so horizontal aiming from negative 90, negative 40, 0, 45, and 90. And frames 300 to 600 is where all your animations for walking happen. So walking forward, forward right, right, back right, back, back left, left, and forward left. Frame 700 to 730 is jumping. Frame 750 to 850 is free falling. So anytime the character's feet are not touching the ground, probably best to transition to this animation. And frames 900 to 950 is landing from a jump or fall. I really wanted to put a few more animations in, but unfortunately I ran out of time. But these are usually enough to quickly start prototyping a game. And again, because it's Unity compatible, even if you don't need the character, you can apply these animations to any humanoid Unity character instead. Also, please understand that just because this is free doesn't mean I put any less heart and soul into it. This is probably the most detailed anime shaded character that I've ever made. And just to give you an idea of how much I would normally charge to make a character like this, if this was a commission job, I typically charge a standard hourly fee based on the kind of work required. For a character like this, the primary skills needed were modeling, rigging, and animation. 3D modelers in America make an average salary of 64,000 per year or $31 an hour. Competent riggers generally make about $25 an hour and the average 3D animators make about $30 an hour, but I've been animating for 10 years, so I actually charge $37, especially if they need motion capture. So if you break the numbers down, modeling and square mapping the character took me about 32 hours. Took me about 11 hours to redo the rig and make it compatible with Unity Humanoid while still keeping it motion capture compatible, and about 33 hours of animation. Also, I would normally charge extra for creating and texturing the weapons and props like his gun and a knife, but let's just pretend those don't exist. If you add everything up, this character would normally total for almost $2,500. But because there are 300 awesome people supporting the channel each month, you guys get to have it all for free. The support squad and I really wanted to make sure that you guys had a quality resource to learn from, and I really did put everything I had into this character. It's got everything that I would personally want if I was to use it in a real project. So he's there for you if you ever need him. I designed this character as a futuristic sci-fi interpretation of a neutrophil, which is kind of like a white blood cell that defends your body against infections. I I thought Cells at Work had a cool idea by giving them knives, so I kind of just gave him five. But something cool to remember is he is designed to be modular, so he's compatible with all the assets that I'll be releasing when the game is complete. So when the game is over, you will be able to really easily modify or create your own armor, swap weapons, or mix and match different parts to make your own new unit. Your imagination will be the limit. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the character, and I really hope he helps you understand how this shader works. If you like him, please consider leaving a nice comment and maybe a five 
five-star review on ArtStation. It's free, and it really helps our channel grow. So again, hope you have fun. Thanks for watching. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.